Hello everyone, this is Iamin and welcome to Webtechnologist. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make multi-user login in Laravel. So we'll make admin and user login registration system. So for it, so here you can see this is our project and uh, so let's go to our project folder which is this one. Uh, you can see e-commerce pro, this is our project and let me just open another CMD over here. And in this CMD, we are going to write some command to make multi-authentication in Laravel. So we are going to use JSTeam for making authentication. So here you can see that we have uh, seven command over here. You can see composer record Laravel JSTeam. Then we have another command after this, which is PHP addition JSTeam uh, install library. Then we need to write the command npm install npm run dev. And before we write the command PHP addition serve, we need to make some changes in our user table. So let's get started with the first command, which is composer record laravel slash jsteam. So let me just see over here, composer require laravel, it will be slash jstream. So let's press enter and it will take like five to 10 minutes to install jsteam packets in our project. And there you go, JSTEAM is installed. So after this uh, first command, the second command is PSP addition JSTEAM clone install library. Let's just see over here, PSP artisan JSTEAM clone install live WIRE, live wire. Then press enter. It will just take like five to 10 seconds actually. And there you go, our library is also installed. So after installing library, we need to write just two more commands, which is npm install and npm run dev, which is also written over here. So let me just say over here, npm install first and let's press enter. Now npm install take like five minutes and npm run dev also take around five minutes to install. So I'm just going to fast forward the video for now. So here you can see npm install is done. Now we'll write npm run dev. So let's see over here npm run dev and let's press enter and it will again take five minutes. So there you go, npm run dev is also done. So our fifth step is we need to change something in the user table. So now let's go to our code editor and I already opened the project using sublime text and we'll just directly go to our here, you can see database then migration and inside migration you can see we have a user table over here and in this user table we are going to add three column over here so let me just copy this line ctrl c and i'm going to paste it over here and here instead of email we are going to say user type and the user type value will be uh, by default it will be by default zero when a verb the a user is registering, it means the user type value by default will be zero and we'll consider zero will be regular user. And if the value of user type is on, then it means admin. So I hope you are clear and you'll be more clear a few minutes later. So let me just copy this line again and I'm going to paste it here. And we're going to have two more fields and one of them will be phone and other one will be address. So let's say here phone and let's say uh, it will be nullable. And after phone, we'll have address. Let me copy this line again, paste it here and this one will be for address. So now let's just save it, control S. So our fifth step is also done. And our last step is this command, PSP addition migrate. So we are going to write this command in the command prompt. So let's just close this one because we do not require it anymore and let's go to our command prompt and we'll say here php artisan migrate let's press enter and it will uh, migrate all the table you can see over here to our database and here you can see the migration is done so if we just go to our database and here you can see e-commerce pro this is our database name and if we just refresh here here you can see all the table and if you go to our user table here you can see name email user type phone and address field over here and here this is our project and if we refresh now it will show us login and register option over here because we 
install JSTM to our project. So let's just refresh. And here you can see login and register option. And if you go to our register page, here you can see this is our register page and this is how it looks. And we have name, email and password field over here. But in the database, we also have a phone and address field as well. And the user type value is by default zero. So we need to create phone and address field over here for register. So here we are going to add two more input field, which will be phone and address. So let's go back to our code and here we'll just directly go to our resource. Then we'll go to views and inside views, you will see a folder called auth. And inside this auth folder, you can see login.blade.php and here you can see register.blade.php. So we'll go to our register.blade.php and here you can see name, email, and uh, here you can see password confirm password okay so here i'm just going to copy this email part Control c and i'm going to paste it two times one will be for phone and another one will be for address so here you can see email everywhere email so instead of email we're going to say phone so let me just select everywhere this one and this one and here we're going to say phone and here you can see type will be instead of email our uh, type will be number since this is a phone and here you can see uh, this will be for address so let's select everywhere name will be address okay let's just say over here address and here you can see type uh, let's say type will be text so now let's save it Control s and let's go to our browser and let's refresh and here you can see we have phone and address field over here so right now we'll go to our uh, app then inside app you can see models and inside models you can see user.php and here we are uh, here you can see protected fillable name email and password so here we are going to add two more field which is phone and address so let me copy this on and paste it twice and here we are going to say will be phone and this one will be for address so right now let's save it so we can just close those two and right now we'll go to our app then here you can see action folder and inside action we have 45 and inside 45 here you can see a file called create new user.php just click on it then you'll see something like this and here you can see we have validation for name email and password if you want you can add validation for like uh, phone number and address as well but we are not going to do it uh, if you want you can do it but this part is the important part here you can see user create so here okay let me just copy this on and i'm going to paste it twice for phone and password so here we are going to say phone and here phone equal to input will be phone and instead of email we'll say here address equal to address now you may be wondering where is this phone coming from and if you go to our database here you can see phone and address now this phone and address is actually this one this phone and this address and here you can see input uh, phone and address now those two will come from here from auth and register.blade.php here uh, you can see uh, here you can see name equal to phone and name equal to address now those two uh, phone and address value will go over here so i hope you are clear so let's save it and let's go to our browser and let me just refresh here and let's just register a user let's say here username will be user let's say email user at the rate of gmail.com and let's say phone number let's give a random phone number random address let's give a password and confirm password one two three four five six seven eight click register and there you go it took us to this space it means our registration is complete and here if we just refresh here here you can see we have name email uh, phone address and here you can see by default the user value is zero because uh, we mentioned in the database 
Okay, let me show you in the database here you can see we mentioned by default the value will be zero for user type. So right now let's go and add another user. So let's just log out from here and let's add another user. I mean, we'll uh, add a user and that will be admin. Uh, let's say email will be admin at the rate of gmail.com. Let's give a random phone number, random address. And let's click the password one two three four five six seven eight and let's click register and there you go it took us to this dashboard but obviously admin uh, will have a different dashboard so for it we are going to change the user type for the admin here you can see both the user type is zero so here on the left side you will see a edit option over here just click on it and here you get the user type and instead of zero we are going to say on on means it will be and win now let's go down and here you can see go option just click on it and there you go the user type is now on for and win so right now what we want is that if the admin tries to log in then then it will take admin to a different dashboard not that on so for it let's go back to our code again and this time we'll go to our so right now we need to go to this folder config folder so in the config folder you will get 45.php so you need to go inside the 45.php then you need to go down and once you go down you will see this omega slash dashboard so what happened is that whenever a user is trying to log in or register it will always call that slash dashboard url so instead of slash dashboard here we are going to write our own url name which will be redirect so what will happen is that right now whenever a user will try to log in or register it will call this url slash redirect so right now we need to create this url in the route so we will go to our route folder inside route we have web.php and here we are going to say route double clone get to file get to sell operation here we mention our url name which is slash redirect so i can just copy this from here and paste it over here then we need to mention a controller name so we need to give to third bracket and let's say we create a controller called phone controller we'll give our clone we we'll say here class common we need to give a class name. Let's say the class name will be same thing. Redirect and end it with a semicolon. So let's save it. And one more thing since we are using home controller over here. So we also need to add home controller at the top. So for it, we need to say it like this. We'll say use app backslash HTTP backslash controllers backslash home controller. Now we do not have a home controller so we need to create home controller so for it we'll go to our cmd and we'll write this command php artisan make clone controller home controller and let's press enter and it will create a controller here you can see controller created successfully now if we go to our app http then controller here you can see home controller.php so inside this uh, home controller.php we are going to write a function for this redirect so here you can see redirect so we are going to say over here public function redirect so here inside this function uh, first of all what we will do is that when the user is trying to log in then we will check the user type value so for it let's say here let's declare a value let's say user type equal to we'll say so we'll say odd double clone user then we'll give to first bracket this arrow sign then we'll say user type and here you can see uh, this user type is just a variable that we declare and here you can see this user type is actually coming from the will come from the database here you can see user type this one okay and uh, since we are using user table data over here so we need to add user model at the top as well so we'll say app so, sorry we, we need to say first use app backslash models backslash it will be user 
and we are also using auth over here so we also need to add a line for the auth as well or we'll get an error so let me just copy this line and we'll paste it here and here we'll say use illuminate backslash uh we'll say support backslash package backslash it will be auth so if we just write these two lines then using this we will be able to uh, get the user type data from the database automatically because uh, auth will help us getting the user type data uh, if there is any user login then it will give the user type so here uh, we are going to give a if condition we'll say dollar user type uh, if user type double equal to we'll give to single quotation and we'll say on if the user type value is on then we will send the user to a specific page i mean the admin dashboard it will be so let's say here return view and it will be let's say we'll create a folder called admin dot home so if the user type value is on then it will uh, send the user to admin home and if the user type value is not on it means zero then we can just give a else condition here and we'll return the view to user dashboard so we'll say return view and we'll say dashboard uh, when i say dashboard here if you go to the resource here you can see dashboard.blade.php and this is the view we get uh the user get after login so we do not have this view but uh, this view is already created by the JS team so we can just save it and if you now just try to uh, log in from here let me just refresh and let's try to log in to user dashboard first let's say here user at the rate of gmail.com and let's give the password login uh, okay i get a error syntax error unexpected token uh, okay i think uh, i missed a semicolon over here so let's go back to our code and here uh, i just removed the semicolon here so let's save it now and if we just refresh so here you can see it took us to the user dashboard so right now if we uh, try to log into admin dashboard uh, it uh, it will show us a error that view not found because we do not uh, create uh, admin.home so let's create a page for the admin so let's just go to our view just right click on the view and then click new folder and first of all we are going to create admin folder over here and inside this admin folder we are going to create a home.blade.php so let's say here home.blade.php so let's save it Control s and save so here uh, over here let's just say normal html and inside the body let's say here admin dashboard let's save it Control s now let's try to log into our admin dashboard so let's say here admin at the rate of gmail.com our password was on to 345678 click login and there you go it took us to admin dashboard and one more thing uh, you need to see over here uh, you can see the url is slash redirect which we mentioned uh, in the route over here you can see in the route we mentioned home controller redirect function which will take us over here home controller and it will just uh, execute those code from here if the user type is on it will take the user to admin dashboard or else uh, if, the, if the user type is zero then it will take the user to a regular dashboard so uh, there is one more issue uh, here you can see this is the admin dashboard but there is no logout option over here so how you can get the logout option that is actually really simple for it all you have to do is that you need to go to our uh, dashboard.blade.php here you can see in the views dashboard.blade.php and here you can see some code let me just copy this part Control c and we'll paste it uh, in the admin home.blade.php so let's remove this part and paste it here and let me just remove those part as well and here you can see except layout opening and 
except layout closing and these two line is responsible for creating the logout option so if you now save it and then if we just refresh here here you can see we have the profile and logout option so right now you can see a uh, background color over here a little bit different that than white so how you can remove it for it all you have to do is that uh, you need to go to over here you can see layouts and inside layout you can see app.blade.php and here if you go a little down here you can see at the line 24 you can see a uh, class mean age skin uh, bg gray 100 just remove this and if you now save it then if you refresh here here you can see the color is gone and if you also want to remove this uh, logo and also this text from here all you have to do is that you need to go over here you will see navigation menu.blade.php just go over here and if you go a little down here you can see navigation links and here you can see also logo option over here if you remove this part it will remove the logo and okay let me just show you save it refresh here you can see the logo is gone and if you want to remove this text dashboard option you can do it as well you can just remove it like this save it uh, refresh there you can see uh, there is no dashboard text written over here and if you have to write anything over here uh, then all you have to do is that let's go to home.blade.php and here let's just say normal html and inside the body you can say admin or something anything just write it save it refresh there you go you can see admin option you can just modify the design uh, depending on your needs and one more thing uh, if you just remove this slash redirect and press enter and you will see a dashboard option if you click dashboard it will take you to this page and obviously this is the issue it should have taken us to the admin dashboard uh, so in order to solve this issue uh, you need to go back to our code and then just go to over here uh, welcome.blade.php and if you go a li little down uh, you will see something like this here you can see auth okay let me just explain this part a little bit here you can see auth auth means if there is any login then it will show us this dashboard text it means it will uh, show us this thing this dashboard text uh, or if there is no logged in user then it will show us the login and uh, register option over here that we just previously saw and here you can see slash dashboard so instead of dashboard we are going to say redirect which is uh, which we write over here you can see redirect we just write the same thing over here as well so right now let's save it and let me just refresh here and if i now click dashboard here you can see it took us to admin dashboard okay let me just show you the user for user as well uh, so let's log in and let's try to log into user dashboard user at the top gmail.com let's give the password click login so it took us to user dashboard and we can just remove this and if you click dashboard here you can see it took us to user dashboard so everything is fine over here so i hope this tutorial was useful to you and if you have any question or if you face any problem you can just let me know in the comment section i try to explain this as much as possible so thanks for watching and in the next tutorial we'll add user template in our project so thank you very much for watching and I'd actually really appreciate if you subscribe my channel. So stay tuned and stay healthy.